<laughs> what am I doing with my life right now? What the hell? Why are there hands in there? I got hand lotion. Uh, would you like some hand lotion? Oh! Oh, what is this game? What's up, guys, and welcome to a very oriental-themed episode of... Three Random Games. So here's the thing. I don't speak a single word of any kind of Southeast Asian language, but I do play a lot of the really poorly translated mobile games on this channel. And because of that, for the last couple of months, my Play Store recommendations have been nothing but games that like, aren't even poorly translated. They're just not translated. None of these games are in English. And even though I can't understand what they say, I can still tell that they're real funny and very random. So I felt kind of obligated to check them out. So I'm not really sure what my objectives are here, but we're gonna have to piece it together as we go. We're on some kind of train, bus, subway that may or may not say my stop. Can I get out here? No. Can I talk to you, pretty lady? No. She's sleeping. Should not be poking a sleeping woman. That's probably inappropriate around here. Konnichiwa, Mrs. I don't suppose you'd like to teach me a word or two. I think she just hit me so hard the game crashed. <laughs> okay, you know what? I might not be able to understand what that says, but a slap is bilingual. So now we've confirmed that poking strange women on the bus is inappropriate in this culture. We got it, we're learning. I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. There are a bunch of luggage compartments, I guess. I've never seen anything like this before. They're all empty. So what am I doing here? I can't interact with people or they'll slap me. Oh, I'm trying to find a seat on the bus. I honestly feel like these games are gonna be even better because of the added layer of confusion. <laughs> like it really makes you wonder what is wrong with Granny. Oh, Granny, no. You're like a little potato with a cane. <laughs> Can I help you? I get Granny. Okay, and we've learned our lesson, okay? Don't poke the purple dumper, she'll slap you out of the program. That's why there's two seats here. Okay, so where do we put her? I'm gonna give her the one with the armrest and the added ball, the added leg space technically for her, and then I guess I can sit here. Is that good? I think that's good. I mean, when I hear applause, I assume it's good, but that could say game over your shit. That's kind of weird. Wait, do you think Slappy McGee is following me? This is the third bus ride I've taken today and she's been on every one of them. Speaking of weird, there are a couple of knights fighting in here. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing? Okay, yeah, kids, don't look at the knights, okay? They're being weird. We've got a broom. Is there anything else around here, I wonder? I don't know how a broom is gonna help me with this. Guys, come on, I just want to sit down on the bus. Is that so much to ask? Like, can you just break it up, break it up? Okay, come on, give me one of your swords. Okay, smite your enemy with a broom. It's like the teabagging of yesteryear. <laughs> no, uh, can I get, what? Did I just get a bottle of lube out of her purse? What? Oh no, it's out of her grocery bag. That is not where I clicked. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's, uh, that's unexpected. So uh, can I just loop you guys up? Yeah, there we go, get the, get the hell out of here. And then let me guess, I need to clean it up or else I'm gonna fall as I go sit. Yeah, there we go. What am I? I don't know if it's the sleeveless denim vest or the helmet that he's constantly wearing, but there's just something weird about my character. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but I might be able to put my finger on the kitty, yeah! I can pet the random bus kitty. Good bus kitty. Oh, he crashed the game too. So not poking anyone or anything is a good rule to live by in this culture. I'm, I'm learning, we're, we're getting the hang of things here, but I clearly need this cat to move. That is my seat. So we're just gonna have to keep looking underneath the floor and 
trying to steal from people's hands and bags and cheeks. Lady, what is wrong with you? You look like you ate bees for breakfast. <laughs> like you're storing nuts in your cheek. Not those kind of nuts, okay? You get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> There's gotta be something here. What am I missing? Somebody's gotta have something, please, anybody. A, a saucer of milk, a catnip, a ball of yarn. A... Oh, interesting. Oh, here we go. Okay, we have uh, we have a saucer. I don't have any milk. Oh, never mind. It's a basket. That's good enough. So you can just sit on my lap. Sure, that works for me. I'm also wearing an ascot and really tall boots. I'm just the strange, no wonder that lady slapped me into oblivion. Every time I start playing one of these games, I just don't want to stop. Like they're so senselessly addictive and confusing. Okay, there are no empty seats. Who looks like they would want to give up their seat? Oh, sir, you look like you really need to go to the bathroom. Maybe I can look around in the floor and find you a drink? Don't mind if I do. Here you are, sir. Bottoms up. Oh, Granny, that wasn't meant for you. Couldn't have seen that coming. <laughs> do I want to sit here, though? Like, I'm going to be in the old man's splash zone. Ugh. Three random games. I've now gone through four different games that were completely unable to open. Like, I'm guessing they just don't really appreciate my English speaking device. <laughs> but fortunately, this one worked. Whatever the hell this is, it's given me a whole bunch of backstory and exposition and all very important stuff, I'm sure. We bought a can of something. There wasn't even like a main menu or a splash screen or anything like that. It just threw me right into this and I'm incredibly confused. Please tell me this isn't just gonna be some kind of visual novel. It'll get weird, okay? It always gets weird. Just trust me on this. So this is my home. I've got a pretty sweet gaming setup. A rather large pet turtle and a tub full of jello. Yeah, I'm, I'm living the high life here and I have a tutorial, oh thank Christ. We are just going to go down the road and observe all of the attractive women walking around in front of Shibuya 108. Wait, why are some of them dressed like bears? Uh, hello? Oh. What the hell? Why am I plucking individual hairs off of their heads and then storing it in some kind of DNA tab? Wait, what is this game? Okay, I, I guess I need the bear ladies as well. Yeah, uh, gotta pluck them all. It's like they always say over there, right? So I went out in public. I plucked a bunch of strange women's hair without their consent. Even my mug is judging me right now. And then I scurried home to go to my can and... Uh, what, stir my rainbow cauldron into what exactly? I made a can of medicine out of their hair. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, why not? Uh, should I be opening this? Oh, I'm gonna set it down on the table first. Very important. And I only have so many can openers. <laughs> What am I doing with my life right now? What the hell? Why are there hands in there? I got hand lotion. Uh, would you like some hand lotion? Oh! Oh, what is this game? Okay, here's some makeup. What? <laughs> I'm at a complete loss for words. Did I just make some kind of sexy nurse genie? What is going on right now? Hi. Um, 
Okay, so I need to spray you with Windex to keep you happy and it will stop you from becoming a crying old man. Got it. Uh, we don't want crying old men. We just want her to be talking about money, okay? There's a bunch of genies to collect and a bunch of different- I need to play this game in English. Uh, hi! It's nice to meet you! I didn't understand a word of that. Um, I think you might be scaring my mug. He's probably just worried that I'm gonna have someone or something grow out of him. What do you want, lady? Do you want money? Here, I'm gonna give you... No! No, I sold her! No! I didn't want to sell my sexy nurse genie! No, Mug, this is your fault! Can I make another one? Oh, you can make a bunch of them. Okay, um... Let's... Let's go back out in public. And the game crashed. Probably for the best. Three random games. I absolutely have to find a way to learn how to play that last game. Okay, if you guys want to see a full episode of whatever the hell that just was, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know. But we've moved on. Okay, we're on to a different game. What it's called, I don't know what it's about. I don't know. It doesn't even say start in English anymore, which is just great. We're falling even further down the rabbit hole. It kind of looks familiar. Right? Uh, not the bubble boy floating down the river, or the centaur, or the pooping level. The main menu layout, right? Kind of familiar to what we've played before. So we've got a kid who has either never seen clouds before, or he's trying to catch bugs in his mouth. Oh, oh okay, yeah, I'm guessing you probably want this, do you? Keep the rain off your little bowl cut? How about that? All right, yeah, I think we get it. I mean, it's no genie in a can, but... <laughs> that last game is gonna haunt me, I'm telling you. Yeah, there we go. We did something successful for once. Music has slowed down, and I don't know if I'm supposed to help him poop or wipe. He hasn't been too descriptive. Okay, um... I have a recorder. Would that help you at all? Okay, yeah, you can play hot cross buns and summon a little girl ghost to watch you poo. I mean, that would probably scare the crap out of you. I'm telling you guys, okay, only in an Asian game will you see this stuff. <laughs> it just blows me away. Can we get a courtesy flush, please? Okay, it's really starting to stink in here. I'm working on the whole toilet paper thing. Yeah, toilet paper thing. Okay, well... Oh, I'm not allowed to leave and find you some then we're just gonna have to keep looking in here. We do have the recorder. We also have a test. Oh. Okay, do we have anything else? No, just the test. Well, you already got credited for your 100 in ghost summoning music, so now you can just ball up that music degree and wipe your arse with it. Yeah, okay. Makes total sense. <laughs> Great success. I know we've played a lot of these point-and-click, you know, blue background adventures, but this one is extra random. <laughs> like, I'm floating downstream in a peach, and I got grabbed by a giant with an afro who was washing his clothes, and that's a game over. Okay. Are these peaches at all relevant? Can I just bash him in the head with them, maybe? Oh, he'll collect them. Oh, maybe he'll collect them instead of me. Oh, he finished his laundry, got lunch, and left. Yeah, that, that that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I am thoroughly following this game. I never thought this would be the first thing I would say to a centaur, but I, I gotta ask, why does that bush have testicles? <laughs> what is going on over here? Oh, oh, it's fruit. And he's moving forward. Is that a sign of aggression? Do you want some berries? He took the bear. Oh, maybe that's a sign of romance? <laughs> Listen, man, I'm just a little kid. I, I can't handle all of that horse junk you're bringing up over here. I'm just gonna pick all the flowers. Uh, who is that? No, no, what, what, what is that? There's a thing back there. Okay, do you want the flower? Flowers, would you like a flower? I want this thing. Oh my God, it's no, okay. And I just got made into a centaur's wife. That's not what we were going for. So what is this? Oh, we got another flower. 
So if I get that flower and that flower and that flower, I've now made a wreath. And I've got fruit. Would you like all of this stuff? This is for you. I think I can now... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So that was a movement of romance, which is concerning. It's also a little concerning that the women have beards and no tits. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. And you'll have to let me know what you think about playing games that aren't in English. Because I'm curious if people find it just too off-putting, they would rather I play crappy stuff in English, or, or do you think this is fine? Because honestly, I have no problem with it. If anything, it's like I said, I find the added confusion makes it way funnier, and I had quite a few laughs this episode, so I would love to do something like this again if there are more weird games out there. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.